So, the O'Hara Davis Josh Taylor grudge match has been made. It's going to take place at the Brayhead Arena. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. In Glasgow, Scotland. Josh Taylor is a Scottish fighter, so it's in his home territory. And yeah, it's going to take place on July the... When is it? July 8th. Definitely looking forward to this one. I have gone on record previously, and I'm going to stick to my guns here, as saying that I think O'Hara Davis beats Josh Taylor if they fight next. And they are fighting next. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for a O'Hara Davis victory in this fight. A lot of people don't like O'Hara Davis, and this is something which applies to several fights which have happened recently. You get certain fighters who are very unpopular, and you get a lot of fans applying wishful thinking to their fight predictions when it comes to how they see certain fights going involving fighters they don't like. Wishful thinking gets you nowhere in boxing, people. You have to be realistic. No matter how much you hate somebody, you have to actually recognize the talent and ability that they have if you want to successfully predict what's going to happen in their fights. And a lot of people are missing the talent that O'Hara Davis actually has. They're not recognizing what's in front of their eyes. He's very talented. He's in a very tough division, the light welterweight division. At world level, you got people like Terence Crawford and whatnot, so <laughs> it's not going to be easy for him. But by the time he's at world level, if he reaches world level, Terence Crawford will have probably moved up anyway. But still, I think O'Hara Davis is a talent, and I think he's got the beating of... Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is 9-0 at the moment, so O'Hara Davis actually has more professional experience. He's 15-0 with 12 knockouts. He's very heavy-handed. He's got ridiculously long arms. He's very confident. He's got a good jab. He's got a good straight right hand. He's physically strong. And I think he'll have enough to take care of Taylor. Taylor looks a more polished fighter from a technical point of view. Davis can look a little ungainly at times, he can look a little clumsy sometimes because his arms are so long and his movements look awkward. But he makes up for that with those very heavy hands and that physical strength that he has and those long arms. You can't underestimate how well he uses those attributes. As I say, Josh Taylor looks more polished, looks to have snappier punches and faster hands. And his balance and movement appears to be better than Davis's. But... Sometimes when a fighter has something extraordinary in terms of a particular attribute, it can trump a guy who has maybe better technique. Uh, sometimes, you know, if he has sufficient technique to go with that extraordinary attribute, he can trump a guy with better technique than himself. So I think that's going to be the case against Josh Taylor. I'm expecting a good fight. I'm not expecting a walkover for a horror Davis in the slightest, but I am expecting him to beat Josh Taylor. Remember, Josh Taylor is no Derry Matthews. He's a guy who is big himself. I think he's actually taller than O'Hara Davis. You know, a decent size or maybe even a big light well weight. And he's unbeaten. So he's not going to be like Derry Matthews who'd been beaten many times before, who was coming out of retirement. You know, I was always shocked that so many people felt, felt that Derry Matthews had a chance of beating O'Hara Davis. Uh, that, that shocked me because Derry Matthews is much smaller than Davis coming out of retirement he'd already been stopped minute you know several times previous why people thought that he was going to be O'Hara I have no idea they really were on that wishful thinking vibe again you know wishing that Derry Matthews could beat him because they hate O'Hara so much and they got egg on their faces you know that wishful thinking stuff it don't get you nowhere it just it just makes you end up looking like you don't know nothing about boxing so that's what that is Josh Taylor is certainly no Derry Matthews. He's going to be a hell of a lot more tough and difficult. He's never lost. He's coming with ambition. He believes that he can beat anybody in the, in a division. He's gone on record as saying this, Josh Taylor. So this is a man with supreme confidence and extreme ambition. And uh, he's going to be fighting in front of his home crowd. So, you know, this is going to be a great fight, a great matchup. I'm definitely looking forward to it. 12 rounds this fight will be. I'm not sure if there's any type of championship on the line. I think O'Hara Davis has the WBC silver title or something like that. So maybe that'll be on the line. Maybe that's why it's a 12 rounder uh, rather than a 10 rounder. But yeah, I'm sure there are going to be split opinions on this fight. Some people are going to be backing Josh Taylor. They think his superior technique and speed and balance and all that kind of stuff will win the day. And there are going to be other people who think like me, 
that O'Hara Davis was his, with his heavy hands, those long arms, the physical strength, the punching power, and the extra professional experience will see him through to a victory. Whatever the case may be, whichever side of the fence you're on, let me know in the comment section below. Who's going to win this fight? How's it going to go? Are you excited for it? So on and so forth. Drop it all in the comment section, people. It's Hatman. I'm out.